You can also do microflowers on a nutrient film technique. Um, as you can see with this picture right here, uh, this is a farm that was in um, Ohio and um, uh, Amish community. And this guy was actually running his whole greenhouse on generators that were powered by gas. Uh, it was a really cool and interesting way of doing it. But he was growing micro microflowers on an NFT system. And mm -hmm. they were just like about six, seven months growing on there when I seen them. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you can grow other things as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I got to work on the NFT system for quite some time um, over at uh, Farmed Here. Uh, if you remember that, Joe, uh, our time at Farmed Here. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, so like uh, you can also do microgreens as well on an NFT system, which really, really work well. And a lot of commercial f uh, facilities are adopting this process as well, too. Yeah, I mean, and, and you, in related to Farmed Here and some of the other projects that you did in the Chicago area, people would come to you and they would have very specific needs. So maybe just walk us briefly through the process when you have a new, uh, new grower or new people coming to you and they're looking to produce something. What are some of the questions and some of the things that you ask them about? Uh, well, I guess the first, the first thing that always comes down is my plants are rotted out, right? Um, and that comes down to overwatering. Um, you know, and, and I can understand why a lot of people make that mistake because you're talking about hydroponics. When people think hydroponics, they think water. They think, well, the plants need water, right? So you don't think of overwatering in a situation like that. Um, if the water line goes above that root ball, um, then yes, then you're going to have the plant suffering if there's not a lot of oxygen in the water. So I think this was one of the most difficult things with NFT systems that people had a problem with. 